Okay, this is going to be a very, very odd video. It's going to be an odd video because this is one of my action figures that is, oops, this is one of my action figures that is currently broken. On a CF Gamble score or scale, this action figure um, gets a score of that. And the reason it's getting a score like that is because there's a few broken pieces in this entire thing here. Um, this is Revotex Neon Genesis Evangelion Eva Unit Number Two. Now it's a. If you ever saw the cartoon, hang on, I'm being a little noisy here. If you ever saw the cartoon, the cartoon is actually really, really nice. Um, when I say nice, I mean it's 56 episodes of really good animation. I mean, the very first time I saw it, I was, I think I was in Alabama. Um, I saw some of it over at my buddy's house. We were watching anime and stuff. And I focused on the wrong thing. I couldn't understand why are robots coming down to the earth? Why, what are these robots? How come the robots look human? I just focused on the wrong thing. I just didn't get it. But binge watching brings you into the fold of seeing everything in total clarity. Once I, clarity, once I saw everything stacked back to back to back to back, I was able to understand what the hell was going on. It wasn't about the robots. It wasn't about the things in the sky coming down. It was about whatever that darn kid's name was. You know, it's about whatever that darn kid, it was about him, his experience, um, him, his relationship with his dad and all this, uh, whatever. But, cool thing is I remember the show for a very long time got a chance to rewatch the show my next door neighbor Kazi Kazi comes over and tells me oh you gotta check this out and I was like man I think I've seen this before somewhere and that's how I kind of got back into you know watching because my next door neighbor at the time told me about it he was he was this kid he was new to this kind of stuff anyway and I was like I check it out and I realized I saw it before and I was like oh I'm not gonna really watch this whole thing but later on I ended up watching the whole thing all 56 episodes so this is my evil unit look here look here this is the Probably should delete that part. Uh, this action figure is actually the mentally unstable anime female whose mother committed suicide, who is a very good fighter, but sometimes unstable in the field. That's the best way to put it. That's, that's being PC, politically correct on that. That's what had happened. That's it. Her arm is broken off because this thing has a lot of articulations. I don't know if yeah, you can see it now. But um, her body actually has a lot of articulation. But because of the extreme articulation it has, it does tend to kind of pop out of place sometimes, which is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. The downside to that is when the joints break, they break. And you end up with stuff like this. I got an arm with no with no body attached to it. They don't connect anymore. I can't crazy glue this here. Oh, why can't I crazy glue it? Let me explain. I'm just gonna throw this to the side. Oh, there's a gun in there. Gun. There we go. So what does she come with? She comes with a staff. Double edge. This has a blade part. This has a pointy part. She also comes with a plug. The plug goes into her back. By the way, that broke. Um, this plug plugs into the city central unit or whatever, whatever. She also comes with a handful of hands. Look at that. This is a handful of hands. Um, one of them is a pointing at you. Another one is a fist. Another one's a trigger. Um, the other one here is like the, like that. It's not a gang sign. Not a gang sign. Not a gang sign. Um, the other one is like that. Not a gang sign. Not a gang sign. 
But if you notice, I have an odd number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing a hand. Um, like George Costanza, you know. He, I don't have hand. I'm missing a hand. George Costanza, that's funny. Anyway, back to the inventory. She has a staff. She has a gun. She also has a blade. It looks like a box cutter. She also has a really cool rifle. I really like the rifle. The rifle is bullpup design. So the ammunition is actually in the back. The front is just the um, barrel, um, what do you call it, the hand protector here. And the barrel is kind of short. And this is another part of the bullpup design is the rest of the barrel comes way back here, okay? I am not a gun specialist. I just know what the bullpup design is. You can look it up. I got nothing else to say about that. <sighs> Back to where we were. Um, this is could have been a great action figure. Um, it has a couple flaws. One of the flaws is her right butt cheek right here is actually orange. It is not red. It's supposed to be red. The reason her right butt cheek is orange is simply because the here's the plastic. They put a, another clear coat on top. The clear coat on top cracked, and that crackling effect turned it orange. It's really ugly. I don't understand what happened. Maybe there was a heat and temperature. Maybe some, some chemicals just bonded, but it cracked. Just weird. Um, another weird thing that they did was this feels a little on the sticky side because it's paint, it's plastic on top of paint, on top of paint. So whenever you have those two paints going on top of each other, the chemicals in the paint are gonna smudge each other and it's gonna get all mushy and everything. It's kind of freaking disgusting. So you can't really touch the arm to do the articulation that much because too much touchy-touchy makes it warm and when you get warm, then all of a sudden it starts mushing up again because the chemicals that they use for the paint just goes <sighs> That's a lot of talking. So, her left thigh. Her left thigh has gone through the same crackling effect, but because I've moved her around so much on that left thigh, it is actually cracked, came back together, and now it's got that mushy, wavy feel. It's like when you, if you touch it too hard, your fingerprints will be on it. So it's they didn't use the right plastic. They didn't use the right painting methods. Probably because this is a multicolored action figure that is more than likely going to get touched a lot. If you buy this and never take it out of the box, you'll be good. How did I get this? I ordered it from Amazon. I didn't order this. I or oh, she's got gears. I didn't order this. I actually ordered the blue one. The blue one looks like that. It was an accident. They gave me the wrong one. I told the people about what had happened. They apologized. Amazon apologized. Amazon refunded me the money. Um, the other guys didn't have the blue Evangelion unit available. So I never got that blue guy. Um, it was pretty hard to find. It was a rare, at the time it was a rare item to find the blue one because he was only on one episode or they, they only focused on him for a very short amount of time. He's like a new kid to the school and um, he also went nuts, but I wanted the dude that went nuts, not the chick that went nuts. I did not really like this particular character right here. Except for that one episode where she was with him and Kazi? Is it Kazi? No, it's not Kazi. What is the kid's name? Huh. I can't remember. If only I could remember. Anyway. The main character of Nia and Genesis Evangelion and the red chick, whatever her name is, had to do a synchronized dance to attack and kill one of the bad guys. And that was probably the best episode because that's when I learned about teamwork. Teamwork, when you got a team that works together, works as a unit, 
does everything they need to do in sequence, everything comes out just great. Anyway, so um, years went by. Let me put this to the side. Years went by, and as years went by, I never got my hands on another um, Evangelion unit, and somehow I remembered that. I remember that. Oh God. I remember that I really wanted one for my desk at work. I really wanted to rock the Neo Genesis Evangelion unit of some type, somehow, some way, I wanted to rock that. And I said to myself, I said, self, I got to get one of these things. So eventually what had happened was I turned around and I bought one. I didn't just buy any one. Because, remember I said, I turned around and started watching the entire series. And when I got to the end of the series, that's when I saw the really cool stuff. That's when I saw... The Americans popping into the. Hang on, I'm being loud. Uh, this is not the one I ordered. I don't have to be nice to this. Like I said, I wanted something totally different by the time I had watched the entire episodes all over again. I wanted this. This is. The mass production type, the American version of an Evangelion unit or Eva unit. This is something that is very, very different from the very first ones that came out. Um, the story behind this one is I bought it and someone saw it on my desk. That's all I'm going to say for now. This is the end of this video. I don't want to stretch it out too long. Um, I'm going to do some detailed photos on this here. It will not be on the turntable because it is a broken action figure. It can stand on its own, but I'm just I'm just not going to do it. It's, it's not worth it because we know it's low quality, but I will give you detailed photos.